Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Stock Analyst. I promise I will make a pre-market video on SNDL and here you go. If you find this kind of pre-market video on the stocks you are following or if there is any stock that will ex explode or something is happening, please let me know. Then I can make more videos pre-market. And if you find this video useful, please do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So as you know, I have been covering SNDL for some, some time. Almost every day I make one video on SNDL and I'm getting very good response from you. And many of us are holding very, very strong and we are holding a strong SNDL and we have a price target, right? So we have some very good days. For last few days, we had massive rally. Yesterday, we went all the way here around 1.5. We came down, but it doesn't matter. Then we move sideways, even though the entire market came down uh, later of the day, but we move sideways and you can see in pre-market today, we are up 3%. And in this particular video, I will take what is the big catalyst today that can affect um, the price as well. So let's look at it um, on a, another chart, five minute chart I'm showing here, right? So all the light blue here are aftermarket and the yellow ones are pre-market. So what happened yesterday on pre-market, we gapped up, we came down, we went up close to 1.5, right? Um, yeah, then we came down, again, we went up, we went almost 1.5, then came down, then during the day, we were coming down, even though I said sideways, but we were coming down. And what I wanted to, want to show you here that two black lines, these are the lines I drew, and it was coming down, but the good thing is after hitting this area, it did not came down, went outside and moved sideways and again it came down now the pre-market the yellow bars this is today's pre-market i'm recording this at nine o'clock in the morning so you can see that now we are going up around 1.35 and also you see the red box here that's the rectangle i see this is the support we need to hold this support so you see yesterday what happened when the market opened we bounced up from here again around 11 45 we bounced and again around 2 around 3 pm we bounced and even after market we came and bounced so 1.25 this is a very important area if we can hold this floor this is really good and why it is important because you see there is a gap here right let me show you there is a big gap so yesterday we opened higher so we were around 1.16 we opened at 1.3 so if we can hold 1.25 really good otherwise we might come down to 1.16 but if we bounce back from this line multiple times it means we have confirmed that this is our support and from there we will go higher this is one thing i also want to talk about the overall pattern price target support and resistance for that i will move to a daily chart here and i think this black line is not important anymore so yeah I'm going to come back here because I want to talk, I want to spend some time before that, the big catalyst I'm talking about. So today at 12, 10 PM, the CEO of SNDL, there will be a chat and where this is happening, this is on Benzinga Cannabis. They are having a conference and it is happening live at this moment. You see on their YouTube channel, you can go and you can see it live. Um, I'm talking with them if they allow me to broadcast the event live then I will make a live telecast at 12 o'clock where we can see um, what is the CEO is talking. If not, I encourage you to go there and listen. I think it will be only for 20 minutes, but maybe you can hear about the company, what they're doing. So any kind of, maybe it's the flat news or many, any kind of like uh, good news can come, right? So this is one event I, I'm looking at it. It might impact, right? Okay. Other than that, we know that it's quiz is happening for all the uh, stocks right amc and everything but our sndl is also doing good back to back few days we made a lot of gain right and look at the short volume ratio is 28 percent in my last video i it was i think more than 30 so we know some shorts they are covering and it makes sense because they are scared because this thing can blow but it's still 28 percent we know amc is around 17 20 percent and this thing is 28 percent on the day of 3rd of june so you can see if any kind of squeeze happens this short has to cover and SNDL price can fly that's the one important thing the other thing i want to show you here the volume here right so look at the volume here so all the blue bars here 
okay maybe i'll just move here so the blue bars are the previous volume right you see the november volume you see the Mar uh, march volume where the share price went all the way close to three dollar so you see the volume right see here for last few days on a daily basis we are having higher and higher volume so yesterday's volume was higher than the previous day volume so volumes are increasing constantly this is really a good thing also look at the 30 day implied volatility here and that was yesterday so it was very volatile then during the day it was very flat if you look at historic volatility this is one thing but anyway i will keep track today about the volume it was yesterday's volume so you see in the morning there was some big volume came in then during the day it went flat a small volume so i'm interested to see what happens today are we expecting big volumes coming in and driving the price higher while i'm talking about volume let's have a look so we haven't started the day yet but look at the volume here the average volume is normally 275 millions of share we will see how the volume uh, kicks in today also look at some other things so the option which will expire today 4th of June and you can see still there are 126,000 open interest they are waiting for SNDL to hit 1.5 so this is the strike they are still waiting they are not closed they are still open you can see they are still open so that is one thing okay they are still waiting what about next week if you go there the open interest can give you some idea so 57,000 they are still waiting for 1.5 they are not closed 58,000 call options are closed but it's still 57,000 are sitting there they are expecting 1.5 by next week also strike of one there are 54,000 these things are important because I want to show you how people are betting you see 60,000 are betting for 1.5 20,000 20,000 so you see 1.5 so many call options are waiting at 1.5 let's look at the July 16 a little further Oh, this is even interesting wow 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 so 1.5 it has 90,000 open interest waiting here two dollar strike it has 69,000 call options here three dollar strike 47,000 call option here four strike 58,000 call option here so you see how many how many are waiting here let me have a quick calculation so I want to do a quick calculation. So you see 90,465. So this is the number of call options are waiting, right? Multiply that with the premium of 0.41 and each call option is multiplied usually by 100. So you see $3.7 million. $3.7 million is waiting here for SNDL to strike 1.5. You see the amount, right? So big money is waiting. They are expecting SNDL will hit 1.5. We hit 1.5 yesterday. But look at the other numbers. Strike price 4, strike price 3. People are betting on this particular stock. And I'm also very, very bullish on this particular stock as well. So let's look at the daily chart here. I'm sorry. I don't want to draw anything at this point. So what happened in, in my last video i talked about 0.7 is it what was our support it's the old story that now the new support has to be around 1.25 area once we will go yesterday yes we hit 1.5 and came back but i think around one point you see the area 1.59 1.6 that would be a big resistance here because we tried to break it some previously but we could not but button but if we can break 1.6 here if we can break 1.6 here this thing will fly once we break uh, 1.6 i think the next stop will be around two dollar you see a little bit of resistance not a big resistance but little bit of resistance so looking very very impressive right so i'm really looking at sndl i'm holding strong i i think this thing will explode soon even i if i go to a weekly chart you can see for last three weeks we have green candles and the good thing is the smaller candle bigger candle and even bigger candles so week by week we are even getting stronger and stronger and once we break that 1.6 mark we will run towards two and then we fly and also you can see big money are waiting lots of money are waiting for SNDL to hit at different price targets so i'm very very bullish and also the conference is today so things can happen so we will see and definitely i want as i promise i will bring more and more news to you and if you find this video useful please leave a like uh, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also please share this particular video so other people know about how SNDL is doing we hold it strong and let's let's make money together thank you again for watching this particular video take care and peace